video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Dimitri Payet. Yes, surely the best transfer this whole season. And I'm not just talking Premier League, I'm talking the whole shindig. This guy has surely got to be the best transfer of the entire season. And yes, I know there have been some brilliant transfers, of course, guys like Douglas Costa, who's arguably maybe even a slightly better player than Payet. You never know, they're both maybe on the same level. But I'm talking like, this is ridiculous. Dimitri Payet goes from Marseille to West Ham, and not many people are thinking he's going to turn out to be one of the best players in the Premier League this whole damn season. And no, he goes on and he becomes an absolute freaking superstar and everyone loses their mind. He's been absolutely stunning for West Ham and has almost single-handedly launched them from being relatively average in the previous season to being one of the top, top teams and even competing and trying to get a European spot. He has been stunning for them and he's definitely one of the most exciting players in the Premier League to watch and he has well and truly earned himself a 2025 video. So without further ado, let's take a look. We've got Payet for a 2025 video and let's take a look at his stats. An 84 rated center attack midfielder with pretty nice well rounded mental and physical with great vision of course and now the skill attributes. Are you kidding me with that stuff? Almost every single one of his stats is above 75 apart from things like heading accuracy, defending and goalkeeping stats, which is obviously fine for a center attacking midfielder, but so many great stats up in the high 80s as well. Can play at left midfield, five foot nine, four star weak foot, four star skill moves, high attacking work rate. He's got the dribbler and playmaker specialities, the flare trait and the long shot taker trait. This guy is unreal. He obviously has only a potential of 84, but can he get better than this? If he can, oh my, this would be insane. There is no fan alive that wouldn't want Dimitri Payet at their own club. I'm a Newcastle fan. I'd 100% take him. He's French. Surely he'd fit right in. But anyway, we've got Dimitri Payet going up by two in the first season. Are you fucking kidding me, Dimitri Payet? This is unbelievable stuff. He's 90 rated with his ball control, 88 with his dribbling as well. Long passing, long shots, shot power and crossing going up and heading accuracy as well. Trying to get that as well. Pretty decent. Oh, ridiculous stuff. So we get a little bit of growth with the technical. Enough to warrant a plus two overall increase now that I've taken it all in. That's pretty pretty unreal. That maybe be at least a one, but no, it's a two. He's 86 at 29 years of age. He's going to really have to build up that overall if he's going to try to keep it around 84 when we get to 2025, because he will be like 38. I do think he's actually going to really, really drop off like a long way and quite a fair bit when we get to 2025, but hopefully he can keep it going. This time around, no, he can't. Earlier on in the journey this time, it's still, uh, no, he's still 86 overall. But as you can see, he hasn't grown by anything. Not overall, not any one stat. As you can take a look at the uh, attributes, no plus increases, no, nothing dropping off. Everything is the same for the second season. We still got the plus two overall increase last time, which is awesome. But he's now 30 years of age and still 86 rated. But we are now in the third and final season with Dementia Pyatt before we go to 2025. And can we just push ahead? Can we get that one overall increase this time? No, we can't. It's basically a repeat of the second season. No growth whatsoever to overall or to any one stat. What we got in terms of growth in the first season was all we got in the first three. So that's what we're going to end it on. 31 years of age, 86 overall. Doesn't look like he's going to get any higher than that. And, the, and he's really going to start dropping off now that he's in the 30s. So... This is going to get interesting. What rating will he be in 2025? How well will he maintain that overall and those stats? That's what this series turns into when we do do it with the older players. Obviously, Dimitri Payet doing so many brilliant things in the Premier League and has obviously become a hot pickup in career mode. So here we go. The time has come to skip all the way to head to 2025. Let's see how well he maintains his stats. Here we go. So here we are, 2025 with Dimitri Payet, who's been brilliant for West Ham this season, been a joy to watch in the Premier League. He's now got a great in-game player in FIFA 16 with an 84 overall. Could be a great pickup, but how is his longevity in career mode? Let's take a look. What's his rating in 2025? Yeah, he's dropped off by quite a fair bit. He's down to 77 at 38 years of age. Understandable, that is so far below the 84 overall that, okay. So he's obviously dropped off. Pretty unfortunate, but Dimitri Pyatt now 77. And you look at the physical, he's taking a big hit. But still, despite that, you've got to take a look at the technical attributes, which he's actually maintained very well. We've got ball control and short passing and dribbling and a bunch of other stats that are up in the high 80s. Still, even having a 77 overall and even at 38 years of age, and despite everything else dropping off, you look at everything but heading accuracy and defending. They're all up around 
the uh, high 70s or beyond that up in the 80s. He's got brilliant technical attributes despite that overall. However, considering the fact that he's either a left midfielder or a center attacking midfielder with absolutely no fucking pace whatsoever, it's going to take a real, I don't know, you've got to be a big fanboy of Dimitri Payet if you want to keep playing him with those sort of physical and mental. But I tell you what, the technical, he's been able to maintain that very well. It's just a shame about his physical, his mental, and of course that overall, which has dropped off in a big, big way. But oh well guys, that's Dimitri Payet in 2025. He doesn't have the longevity of certain other players that we've been able to do in this uh, 2025 Crew Mode series that have been able to get to, you know, toward the late 30s and still maintain their brilliant overalls. Unfortunately, Payet's not one of them, but still, as we saw from the first three seasons, he can still grow by a little bit and he can still turn into a superstar or an even bigger superstar. But either way, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, and leave in the comments down below any other players you would like me to do for the series. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.